What's going on YouTube OCD for EDC here. What I've got for your face balls today is a quick little video about how I make CMEs. I've had a bunch of questions over the last several months and so I figured I'd cut some little videos in here. So what you're seeing right now, this is high speed video footage of me machining CMEs. So in the first process, I was roughing out the shapes. Here I'm loading them up into a custom 3D printed vise that I've made just for doing this. Um, I'm doing the second process here, machining the backside of the CMEs to give them the little shelf to make them easier to locate. Um, the ones that are in the vise right now, these are actually for a Spyderco Shaman. And sorry that the video is so choppy and stuff here, but uh, you know I'm still kind of learning this whole video and editing situation. So I should have gotten some better footage, but um, anyway you understand what the process looks like here. So this is machining the CMEs in different uh, materials. I've got micarta, carbon fiber, all sorts of different stuff going on. So now that second process is done. Um, from there, I go through a blasting process and multiple different things to get them into the state where you guys actually receive them. And then I went ahead and I filmed this footage right here. This is... Um, I had a customer that bought a CME for a shaman and he was having troubles getting it uh, located on the knife and so he sent the knife in and I went ahead and put the CME on for him. So in this video I disassemble the knife and locate the CME and get everything cleaned up. So I've sped this footage up a little bit just so this video was quick, but you'll see here in a moment as I disassemble this knife that I am scraping glue off from where the CME was installed. You can see it on the blade there of that Hogue Deca that I used to scrape all the glue off the lock bar. And then we have glue that is on, well, in multiple different places. I have to get the glue off of the CME itself, off of the lock bar, off of the um, show side scale there. And so I use the knife again to scrape just the big chunks of glue off. And then here in a moment, you will see that I use a little different media to scrape off the glue. Here I am just uh, wiping the glue off, trying to make sure that I get rid of that shiny spot completely. And so here I come in with some green Scotch-Brite. Now, for any of you guys out there, you know, contemplating doing some mod work and that sort of thing, don't be afraid to jump in there. And, you know, for the most part, unless you do something really, really egregious, you will be able to repair it. So using something like some Scotch-Brite to clean up or take care of a bad spot that's in your G10, you'll see here that a little bit of Scotch-Brite goes a long ways. And then using a microfiber cloth to clean it up, make sure you get all of the dust out of the little, little scratches and pores and stuff in the uh, G10. It looks good as new. And then here... I'm just cleaning up the, the last bit of glue residue that's on the lock bar. And now I'm using some 90% uh, isopropyl alcohol to clean up that area, as well as just generally clean up the knife. You know, I went ahead and went through, removed the blade, pulled off the washers, cleaned everything up. And of course, you guys know the deal. I've got to go back in with some slick em all to make this thing have really good action. There you go. So now this is my own lubricant that I make in-house. It's called slick em all. If you guys have not seen it before, it is available on the website along with all the CMEs and stuff at ocdforedc.com. So go and check out the website. We greatly appreciate uh, all of your guys' support and business. But... You can see here, I'm just going through and putting some slick em all. This is how uh, it comes packaged to you in a uh, syringe just like that. So it makes it really nice and precise to locate the lubricant. And then here I'm putting some slick em all in the detent ball hole as well as along the detent path and just reassembling the knife. Now with the Spyderco Shaman, when you are installing the CME, you want to do it with the knife totally assembled 
because you want to locate it based off of the nub that's on the blade. So the Shaman CMEs come with a milled out section on the back side that fits the, uh, the nub that's on the blade, the portion that comes back and hits you in the finger. So you definitely want to put it on while the blade is, or the knife is completely assembled. So there I was just checking blade centering real quick, just making sure the action is what I expect it to be. Doing a little detent or a, a little uh, pivot screw adjustment real quick. And then we get into actually installing the CME. So real quick, <laughs> it's kind of funny watching this back in a uh, little uh, sped up uh, pace here. So now I am cleaning the glue off of the back of the CME. <laughs> there was a tremendous amount of glue on there. So the gentleman that uh, purchased the CME, thank you so much uh, for, for your business. But he was really struggling and he had put multiple layers of glue on there. So then I cleaned it up with the knife, got a lot of the big chunks off. And then I got a little file involved right here and got all this off. Now, this particular CME is a glow-in-the-dark carbon fiber CME. And, of course, now I'm using alcohol to clean up the backside, make sure there's no oil or residue or anything on there. And then same thing on the compression lock bar. Uh, at this point, I let the alcohol dry. And then now I actually slowed the video down to real time so you guys can see me place this glue uh, it doesn't take much. I actually used a little too much here. So you'll see in a moment, I kind of wipe a little bit of it off with a little piece of cardboard. So I recommend having some, you know, a toothpick or a piece of cardboard handy while you're doing this. Cause I got just a little too much on there. Um, and then I dropped the glue, <laughs> but you know, so it's all realistic here. Um, but right here, what I'm doing is I took a little piece of cardboard and just folded it over so I could use the edge. And I'm distributing the glue as well as just kind of taking a little bit off because I don't necessarily want the glue to run out and around. I just want it to be right in the right location. So you want to put a nice thin layer of glue across the entire uh, back portion of the CME or the mating surface. And then here I'm actually pushing in on the CME to compress the lock bar. Uh, as well as moving the blade in and out just to make sure that I don't have any interference whatsoever. Now you can see as I'm doing this, there's a little shiny spot just below the CME. It's kind of hard to recognize, uh, but this is after a little bit of time. So I put that starburst in there uh, after I let the glue set up and right there, you'll see a little shiny spot. And that was just a little piece of super glue that I missed when I first disassembled. So now I got to go back and clean it up after I've already assembled uh, and put the CME in or installed it. Not, not terrible, not a huge deal, but I was able to get it cleaned up. And so then I'm just coming back with a little microfiber. And so at this point, the CME is installed and... Now I'm gonna let it sit and dry for a little while. Now I'm just checking to make sure that I don't have any interference in any location. Uh, there is a little bit of a cutout in the scale. The CME needs to fit in that cutout. If there are any little minor adjustments that need to be made to the CME, you can certainly do that with sandpaper or a small little file. I certainly recommend uh, you know, test fitting multiple times before it's completely uh, or that you're ready to glue it in. And so here I've let the glue completely set up. I'm checking out the, uh, you know, performance of the slick -em all Now, if you've ever tried to operate one of these knives, when you have the clip on the wrong side, it's a little bit uh, cumbersome. So here, you know, it's not the smoothest thing ever, but I've got the clip on the wrong side. And then of course, Hey, two thumbs up. CME is installed, looks fantastic. And now, you know, showing off a little bit of that glow carbon fiber, got a UV light here. And there you go. You can see what it looks like when it glows in the dark. Of course, I've got a bunch of light shining on it right now, so it's not really going to glow much at all. But there you go. That's how we go about uh, 
installing the CMEs. Go check out the website, like I said, ocdvredc.com. Thank you so much.